breaking news this morning. The Trade Minister, Greg Hans, has denied there is any panic in the government, despite the Chancellor's decision to fly home early from the International Monetary Fund meeting in Washington. He told us the Prime Minister had his full confidence, but he would not be drawn on whether she was planning another tax U-turn. It's widely believed she will scrap a pledge not to increase corporation tax. Nick Dixon is at Downing Street for us this morning. So Nick Greg Hands urging his fellow MPs to get behind Liz Truss. Yeah, exactly, just to get on with the job. Whether or not she has a chance to actually do that as Prime Minister may depend on what happens over the next couple of days and what she can come up with uh, for the economy, along with the Chancellor, of course. In terms of a U-turn actually happening, it seems it's almost guaranteed at this stage. The only question seems to be when it's happening and also which elements of the, of the mini-budget will be unpicked or just ditched completely. Nothing was going to happen, of course, until the Chancellor arrived back in the UK. He's been in Washington, D.C. for the last... A uh, few days on a plane at the moment, we understand, due to land in London. Uh, in the next hour or two, he's due for talks with the Prime Minister and perhaps more importantly, try to calm the financial markets and his fellow MPs. The next few days will be critical to Liz Truss and Kwasi Kwarteng's political futures and the money in our pockets. Speaking at the International Monetary Fund's annual meeting in Washington, the Chancellor was publicly holding ground. Our position hasn't changed. I will come up uh, with the uh, medium-term fiscal plan on the 31st of October, as I uh, said earlier in the week. He's now heading back to Downing Street earlier than planned, and he might have his hand forced by investors. While the Bank of England will end emergency measures today, markets are expected to remain stable as investors have already priced in a U-turn on corporation tax. This is going to be politically very difficult, even humiliating. And uh, that is not going to be easy for them. You can see why they would be reluctant to make that decision. Uh, in the end, for the good of the country, that's what they have to do. But who knows where this is going? But once you've, let, once you've opened Pandora's box, you can't put the lid back on. So, so I think this was raging incompetence, completely unnecessary, and Quartang has had to run back in disgrace from Washington to start over. The turmoil has led to reports that senior Tories are holding talks to replace Liz Truss with a joint ticket of Rishi Sunak and Penny Mordaunt, only five and a half weeks in. While senior backbench Tory MPs are saying that if a U-turn is coming, it can't wait until the end of the month. If it's in the government's heart to make a significant U-turn, then it's much better to get it out right now because you want to telegraph to those markets that you are going to be fiscally responsible. Look, I have absolute confidence in the Prime Minister, uh, but the leadership contest has been won fair and square by Liz Truss. She is delivering on the plans that she laid out uh, in that contest, and absolutely right that Conservative MPs are united behind Liz Truss, behind Kwasi Kwarteng, on delivering on those plans.